Hey everyone, it's Pastor Paul Krampitz. I'm coming to you from my study here at Bethany Lutheran Church on Court Street in Cromwell, Connecticut. And this is another edition of From the Pastor's Study. Most times in our liturgy, we begin following the uh, gathering hymn uh, with what's known as the Apostolic Greeting. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So says the presiding minister, and then the gathered assembly responds, and also with you. I want to think with you for a few minutes about what actually is being said and its significance. That greeting, in fact, was a common greeting um, we find in the New Testament among the epistles. Paul, for example, would often begin his letters uh, with that same greeting, grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Of course, we can recognize the Trinitarian language there, Father, um, Lord Jesus, and Holy Spirit. Um, but what Paul is really doing is uh, offering this gift of the presence of the triune God. And so when the presiding minister extends that same greeting, uh, a couple of things are happening. First of all, the presiding minister is making the claim that by virtue of ordination, the pastor stands in that apostolic role as a messenger of Christ, a sent one, literally, which is what apostolos means in the Greek, um, that the pastor, not because he or she is any better than anyone else in that assembly, um, but by virtue of their ordination, they have this special public role to perform, to be this messenger of Christ. And so standing uh, with Paul and the other apostles offering this greeting. So this greeting is extended. These gifts are extended to the congregation, grace, love, and communion. Grace, of course, being this free gift of love from God that we certainly don't deserve and could never earn. Love, of course, God is at the very core love, this self-giving agape love. And then also this gift of communion from the Holy Spirit, which we might also understand as being community, a coming together, a unity of the gathered the gathered with the presiding minister, and most importantly, all the gathered, including the presiding minister, with the risen Christ. The last thing that I'd like to say about this is that this um, can also be heard as the pastor saying what already is. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit is with you all. It's here, it's now, it's a present reality. And the congregation responding, and also with you, those gifts we see also in you. And that's a big you, of course, in both senses. It's those individuals that are there, but these amazing gifts of God are free and available to all who are open to them. So that's a little bit about the apostolic reading, uh, words that we hear and are so familiar to most of us from our liturgy, but perhaps we've never given much thought to. And so until next time, this is Pastor Paul reminding you that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit is with you all indeed. Amen.